Sorry. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Fucking holy shit! Oh my! Oh shit, dude! Dude, look at the front end. Shit! Oh my god! Yo. You took a shower before working on your car. <clears throat> Daddy got a haircut, bro. Gotta get that hair off, it's all itchy. Gotta be fresh. And I got work all day. I was working for like 10 hours, man, all sweaty and shit. <laughs> so I say we're making a video and you gotta get all pretty <laughs> and shit. This motherfucker, dude, oh, really? <laughs> but dude, I got a gift oh, for you. Oh shit, there they are, fuck yeah. Oh yeah. God damn. Check it out. You like? You like? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder what these are. All right, so this is what we have for you. Today, Fortunato was kind enough to send us their 510 series coilovers. Now, there's a reason why we picked these over the Fortunato, the 500 series is one, because Casey likes to take his car to the track and do performance stuff. So track, autocross, whatever, you name it. So with the ultra digressive dampening or valving that they have on these, not only are these were buildable, but you can also change the spring rates on these between I think plus or minus two. So that will also help not only with performance, but also help with the ride quality. Um, Cause he does have a family, he has little babies and they yeah. ride in the car and yeah. you wanna keep them comfortable. So keep in mind that these Fortune Auto coilovers are built in the USA. A lot of these uh, coilovers that you see on the market, which are built in Taiwan um, with questionable quality. Oh, oh, there you go. Got some stickers. Yeah. Got spanner wrenches. Oh, and we got also these are nice stickers. Oh, those are solid too. Fuck yeah. Big thanks to Fortune Auto for sending these to us to try out. Now, with every coilover that you purchase from Fortune Auto, they do provide you a shock dyno and a certificate of, of assembly. Now, these were built on 627.17 by Mr. Tyler Ruiz. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. As you can see, the spring rates are right there. So 8K front and back. So there you go. Look at that. Shock dinos that are. <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's it's already late in the evening. We uh, we both worked a full day today, and uh, we're gonna try to knock this out, even though we're, we're tired as hell. But you know what? Uh, coilovers really aren't that bad of an install. I can't remember how many coilovers I've installed on these cars, but you know what? We're, we'll get it done regardless. All right. So what I did off camera, I already set the preload on all these. Well, I think on two of them. But anyways, if, uh, if one thing you want to do before you install them is set the preload. Uh, there's videos online on how to set the preload on coilovers if you're not familiar with doing that. All right, Casey's over there installing. Trying to get bust his first nut. Well, that nut's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> uh, that was good stuff. So as you can see, that right here is the lower control arm. So what we do is we take out the inside one, the one he's working on right now, uh, the sway bar one, and the one for the strut. Uh, I know a lot of people take this one out, but this one, uh, we don't take this one out so it doesn't mess with your alignment settings. So once you take these three out, the control arm simply just drops down and the strut assembly simply drops right out after you take the two uh, nuts up top off. So really easy to do, takes no time. So this just goes to show you how easy it is to take off the rear. The front's a lot easier. So just keep in mind, Casey's never done this before. Um, I mean, if he can do it, pretty sure you guys can do it too. And then once you take that nut off, just take all those bolts out and then lower, um, drop the lower control arm. And then we're good to go. Just pull it out. Okay. There's that. And then now the one to bolt for the strut. There you go. Now just take the lower control arm and just drop it down. No, from the other side, from that end. And there you go. That's it. All right, new coilover is now in. Now Casey's just gonna take the lower control arm and just put everything back in in reverse order.
we got one side done which is this is the passenger side you're looking at and uh, it might be a little too low I can already tell this is how it sits with the wheel just freestanding and you can see there's already very minimal wheel gap so we'll see once we drop it down all right so please keep in mind this is not a full DIY how-to video you guys have seen videos on how to install coilovers um, but pretty much all we did we made a couple of adjustments and uh, yeah we're gonna lower it and see our um, pretty much semi-final adjustment right now so we'll see how low it is it might be a little bit too low <laughs> whoops <laughs> whoops my bad <laughs> all right uh, a little bounce those coilovers are stiff a lot stiffer than stock ones but here are the rears now keep in mind this is not the final adjustment we've already adjusted it twice so we went a little bit too low but that's okay it's a, I call it show low. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh. Dude, look at the front end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All right, so it's now the next day. And just to give you a better perspective of how low the car is. Yeah, that's how low it is. Oh, just barely. Just barely. <laughs> That's how low it is. Yeah. So, not gonna happen. No. Oh, it's scraping. saw the car and our some of you are probably furious that the car is uh, super duper low um, but spoiler alert it's probably not gonna stay that way yeah so right now at this state with the way the car is the car is not drivable so uh, our adjustments or our adjustments were a little bit off so we have to raise it up trying to learn new things man well it's gonna be too high now no nah. yeah. yeah it's gonna be way too high nah it'll be perfect Pop. okay Pop. All right, whatever. Five bucks. Whatever. Monster. I bet you a monster. You bet, you, you bet me a monster? Yep. All right. I'll get you a monster, you get me a full throttle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we're just gonna wing it. For right now, we, we, we've taken measurements um, so far with the um, tape measure. So, um, as far as the back, we only need to raise it up about, you know, half, about three quarters of an inch, somewhere around there. And then that should uh, get it off, uh, we should get the rear into, uh, you know, no uh, respectable driving height. Just tighten the bottom one, right? That's yeah, it matters. that's it. All right, it's tight. And the top one, you don't tighten the top at all? No, it's already tight. Oh, because of the bottom yeah. one? Yeah, that, that was already tight when I set the preload. All right. Let's see. So, that didn't go down too much. No. I think it's good yeah, right it's there. Good. Yeah. My tire is scrape off. So goodbye, super low. It's going up. Yeah, no more. Yeah. Okay. All right. No big deal. I don't want to drive the Corolla again. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> that, that was your punishment. Yeah. Is there a punishment for being right? Yeah. Yep. Slowly lower. Yep. Oh shit. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, still too low. Yeah. All right, that's where she sits for now. I think it looks good right there, though. Don't yeah, you think? It's good. Yeah. Good nice little stance. So this is just for now. Um, there are some adjustments that we're gonna make. It is gonna sit a little bit higher. So um, where you see it now, um, it's not gonna be that low. And the reason is, uh, you know, we got track days and autocrosses coming up. I know that might disappoint some of you guys, but you know, we bought the five tens for a reason, and that is for performance reasons. <laughs> So there you go. Let's go take it out for a spin and see how they ride. No, no, no rubbing or nothing. So we're just.
taking our first ride with the new coilovers and see how they ride. Just making sure there aren't any weird noises or, or anything like that, you know, so. So, Casey, did you torque all the wheels down? Uh, you better hope so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, these rides super smooth, man. Yeah, they do. Well, okay. We got set, set at the super, like the lowest setting, right? Yeah, so right now they're, uh, they're, they're set at super soft. At the softest setting. Yeah, I, I think I think right now with the way it rides, all the way soft, it's softer than stock right now. A lot softer than mine right now. A lot more comfortable. Um, it soaks up the bumps a lot more. No, he didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> with your heart, it's with your soul. We all understand that we all start somewhere. We want you to be passionate about this community, but don't call your shit on Instagram a full build or breaking necks or whatever that shit you guys say. That's not gonna happen. Do you think Casey? I think they're pretty sweet. Yeah. Uh, definitely gotta give a big thanks to Fortunata for hooking it up with these coil levers. They are Everything I could have wanted. I mean, the the amount of adjustability that you can get with these, like we saw when we first put it on the car, was the extremely low, or you can even go higher than higher than uh, stock height if you really wanted to. Yeah. And then with the with the fact that you can adjust the dampening and how stiff they are is even better. I mean, no, oh, yeah, really nothing more you can ask for in coil levers. And I mean, they're not too bad, and they're made here in the USA, and you can always send them back to get rebuilt. Uh, oh yeah. On. So uh, definitely. Uh, impressed with uh, the coil levers. Yeah, so super high end. Just for shit and giggles, we had it to full soft, and now what we're gonna do now is add it to full stiff, and just to test out the difference between soft and stiff. So right now they have full soft, and all you gotta do is turn the adjustment knob, and it's that easy. <laughs> Holy shit! Is it stiff? <laughs> oh yeah, way stiff. <laughs> I didn't well, feel anything driving down this thing before. Holy uh, shit! Big difference, huh? Oh yeah, it's crazy. Oh, sorry. We're not it's going awesome, far. Though. So the the adjustability, yeah, you could feel. Yeah, you could definitely feel. So, Holy shit! So supposedly with every click, you're supposed to feel a difference. Really? Yeah. No, that, we, we put it like 20 clicks. So. Yeah, that uh, ultra that aggressive valving. Oh man, these things are these things are amazing. Yeah, they feel a lot better than the stock uh, suspension. Oh yeah. Damn. So, so much better handling now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so overall, your first impressions with the Fortunato 510 coilovers. So far, are you impressed with them so far? Uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the adjustability of the coilovers is what's got to be like... They're uh, like sold. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just because it's so easy to adjust from soft and, uh, soft and stiff. And I can, just the corners I've taken, I haven't taken any ever. Like really sharp corners or taking it to the track yet, but I can tell just from the corners that I've taken that it's a lot easier or it's a lot, it's gonna grip a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, so we have um autocross um you know plan for the future, you know, track days plan for the future. So so where we will really put these uh coil levers to the test. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's we really bumpy. Feel any of that when it was like yeah. really soft. That's crazy. Um so pretty much that's our first impressions of the Fortunato 510 coilovers and uh yeah more to come on these coilovers and uh thank you guys for watching big thanks to Fortunato once again for taking care of us and we'll talk to you guys later and we're out deuces